is something that I think generally people don't think about, stuff like this. And my next question for you is, it seems that more and more in today's society and just the societies in the world today, people are more depressed, more anxious, more suicidal than, than ever before. Is that a symptom of something unusual going on in our society? Is it just people that are more comfortable talking about it now? Um, what what is it? Why are why are so it's many good, people it's depressed? It's a good question. It's a good question. I I I think at least part of it is the complexity of our society. It isn't certain how the future is going to lay itself out, and it isn't certain that what you knew in the past is going to be sufficient for you to, mm. to move forward into the future. So there's lots of opportunity, but it's very complex. And it's not easy to keep up in our <coughs> world. You know, like if you look around the world, you might think, well, the happiest people are those where the high, le, standard of living is the highest. That's actually not the case. Right. And you think, okay, well, why wouldn't that be the case? It's like, you want, what do you want? Malaria and death at 40? Obviously not. But then you think, okay, what's the price you pay for a high standard of living? Well, that's easy. You virtually always sacrifice the present for the future. You're always working. Mm -hmm. I mean, you guys, you know, I mean, you know, you've, you're fairly influential and you've got this good thing going, but like it could crash at a moment's notice. You better keep your eye on it. And, and, and every day you're thinking, okay, this has to be done and this has to be done and this has mm -hmm. to be done. And it's so it pays off. I mean, you have a nice studio and, and, and I would presume a reasonably comfortable life, mm -hmm. but it's not like you're not running on a treadmill to keep that going. And so that's, that's security, and it's health, but it isn't necessarily happiness, and it's certainly not necessarily freedom from anxiety. Sure. And I would say most people in the modern world, weirdly enough, have far too much to do. You know, two mm -hmm. career families and a couple of kids. It's like, man, you're, you're done. That's 60 hours <laughs> a week of flat-out work. Yep. So, and that can be too much. And then I also think, because our society is philosophically unstable and that's sort of reflected in this polarization is that people are doubtful about whether their lives have any meaning for mm. example you know well, what's why bother what's the use of it who cares it's like what difference is it going to make in a million years you know and that's life is hard and if you just have a nihilistic viewpoint then it's easy to be swamped by doubts and and existential angst and all of that and and like i think that's a mistake because i think that your life your life can be very meaningful. It's proportionate to the responsibility that you take on. And mm -hmm. you can learn that by watching when you're engaged in the world, you know, and, and what works to sort of protect you from feelings of isolation and doom. Uh, you know, and a lot of the lectures I have on YouTube are about exactly that. Mm -hmm. so, so I think part of it is the complexity of the modern world. Yeah. I also can't shake the sneaking suspicion that it has something to do with our diet. Really? Well, you know, I saw this. We know that obesity is like skyrocket. Yeah. Okay. So, and probably the reason for that, it's not exactly certain. There might be complicated reasons for it, but certainly one of the reasons is that people eat far too many carbohydrates. Right. You know, I saw this video from World War II. Um, about, about, and, and in, in one of the scenes, they showed all these men in New York lining up to be inducted. And it's like, you know, 20 blocks of guys with no shirts on mm -hmm. standing in line to be inducted. Every single one of them was <coughs> bone thin. Do you Every think, single one. Do you think one. it's the insecurity and the negative feelings that come with being overweight or the actual No, food? no, no. I think there's something wrong with what we're eating. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And, yeah, I mean, there's more and more evidence that dietary sensitivity, for example, is linked to conditions like schizophrenia. Really? And so, yes. Watch yes. out for that bread, y'all. Well, and also, your gut bacteria turns out, which you have a lot of, you have about 100 times more bacterial cells in your body than human cells, hmm. which is really quite a freaky thing to think about. L luckily, they're quite tiny, because yes. otherwise you'd be like a giant amoeba. Yes. You know, but the, the gut biome produces a lot of neurochemicals. And so it does play an integral role in the regulation of your mood, mm. which is also a very strange thing. I've been following so, that, just the how bacteria is starting to be, like play more in human health, like mm -hmm. probiotics and stuff like this can regulate your mood. Mm -hmm. That's so mm -hmm. freaky. Yeah, it is. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, and you know, um, one possibility is that 
Well, let's say you eat a lot of carbohydrates and sugar. Okay, so what happens is that you grow bacteria in your gut that right. really like carbohydrates and sugar. Right. Well, so then you think, well, I'm always having cravings for carbohydrates and sugar. It's mm-hmm. like you're having the cravings, you think. Well, maybe not. Maybe what's happened is that, you know, through a Darwinian process, you've encouraged the growth of bacteria sure. that really like sugar and right. carbohydrates. And you think and that same bacteria is messing with people's mood? Maybe. Yes, it could, and it's also messing with their cravings. That's. Mm. I mean, we're really walking oceans, you know, like we're big creatures. Yeah. I mean, we're not big compared to a, like a Douglas fir or, or, or the sun, yeah, but like yeah, sure. we're pretty big creatures and, yeah. and we are liquid. Most of us is liquid. Yeah. And, you know, if you saturate yourself with carbohydrates and sugar, then you, mm. you are invaded by the bacteria that live on those things. Mm. And so that's not necessarily so good for you. Mm. 